Good morning. It is Wednesday, and I am back. So, I've been gone for a while. Let me... And... Yeah, so I'm just getting back into it. I've got... Me, I'm like fixing all of my my setup, my sound, my microphone. I think it's all working. Although if it's not, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, that's not gonna be it. I'm trying to get all of the um stuff fixed again, like where it was before. So this is the problem. Okay, so this should be a little louder. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think I need to move this all the way up. All right, and that should do it. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so what I was so so before before um my break and let me see when was the last time I streamed. October 3rd, so it's been about six weeks. Um, so we're into November now. Um, yeah, so... What I was working on before was the fitness tracker. I was using the Wells uh, framework, which is a framework for building uh, desktop apps on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, with, uh, you know, any, any front end framework and go on the back end, which is really cool. Um, and so now that I'm back, I'm actually, um, I, I think I mentioned this at the, you know, after, at the end of my last stream in October, um, was that I was going to start, I, I might flip up, uh, switch up my schedule. I think I'm going to try and do that today where I stream this morning and this afternoon and do that twice a week as opposed to streaming four times a week in the morning. I think I'm going to try and stream two uh, times a week all day. And I think those days will be Monday, Wednesday, um, but don't quote me on that. So that's what I'm going to start today. Um, and then what I want to work on is building mobile apps. So I've been on, on, um, while I was traveling, I was started learning how to use, um, how to build in react native. And I've, you know, I've got the basics down. I'll say that. And what, what I want to build is I actually want to go back to my password manager and redo that. And I think I have a better idea of just, how to do that now i think the code will be cleaner and the way i do um since since i worked on that i have found better um crypto libraries like the encryption and decryption which what i was doing before um i was always nervous about because i didn't know how secure it was um if i was missing something so i found better crypto libraries that I'm going to use should make the code a lot cleaner too. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where I am. But what I'm doing today is I'm going to work on, um, I'm going to work on this tour client library. So I'm, I have other projects that I'm working on and I actually need a, uh, a Tor HTTP client library. Um, and there doesn't seem to be one. Um, well, there, there doesn't seem to be a um, kind of easy to use one. And so I will, I'll show you what I mean by that. So, so there's this one, this self-contained Tor, which is something I'm going to use. Um, and then there's this other library that makes um, 
that makes it a little easier to um, basically create a tour instance and use that for connections. So I'm going to use this, or I'm going to try to use this. Uh, the I, I don't know how well this is going to work because well, this has been this has been worked on. You know, August August of this year, this tour library, which is just a wrapper of all of the C tour code. Um, this hasn't been worked on since 2021. Um, and it's the only branch. So two years ago, that makes me a little nervous. I don't know if that's going, if it's still going to work. I mean, so this library is very interesting. Basically what this is, it's just a, it's just a C go wrapper around the original C tour library, um, which is cool. Someone actually took the time to, I'll show you. So you have like the open SSL library and all of the, you know, whatever, all of the C code in here. And then they took the time, the, the, the developers of this library took the time to go in and just wrap. It's kind of crazy. Just go in and wrap all of the C code. Um, and there, there are, I don't know how many, yeah, a thousand files. So over a thousand files in here where they just go in and wrap all of the, all of the C code from the tour libraries. Um, and this is really cool. So, so what, um, why, why am I doing this? Um, so with tour, it's, um, so it's possible to, the, the, the clients, the go clients I've seen assume that there is a, a socks proxy that's running on the computer, like a socks five proxy running on the computer, which is what tour uses. If you want to connect to tour, you have to go over the socks five protocol. Um, and it assumes that, and, and a lot of the libraries I found for uh, tour clients assumes that there is a um, Sox 5 proxy already running on the machine. Your client is on and then the client just uh, sends all of the requests through the Sox 5 proxy. Now, the problem with that is this is not going to work on a mobile app because there's not going to be a, I mean, as far as I know, you're not going to run a proxy on a, on a mobile device. So the app itself has to uh, be able to use, communicate over the SOX5 protocol. Like it can't use a proxy running on a device if the proxy is not on the device. Um, so that's where this library comes in is that this is, um, this has all the Go, this is, you know, a Go library. And what's cool is that it actually, where is it say, where does it say this? It's built to do what I want. Yeah. So it doesn't require custom build steps. It plays nice with the Go ecosystem, uh, including Go Mobile, uh, which is Go Mobile is the, um, is the tool to build uh, Android and iOS libraries from go code um and I, i've also played around with that so so the the um goal of it the goal of what i'm working on now is to build a um purely go client go tour http client library running go that doesn't rely on a proxy running on your machine so that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, a lot of it comes down to this. Uh, and since we're now, you know, a year away from the latest commit or a year and a half away from the latest commit, um, and I'm sure the t tour protocol has changed since then. Um, 
that's going to be, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. So, uh, first thing I want to do is I need to find a tour site to test this against. Um, tour onion. And I'm not going to download the tour browser. Um, okay, cool. Onion browser. For, no, I don't want to use that either. There should be just a tour browser online. It should just be a tour to web. There we go. That's what I want. Whenever you see a URL. Yeah, that's not going to work. Stop. No, that's not going to work. I want to copy the link. Okay. <clears throat> tour is a software. Whenever you see a URL, that's a torrent. Just replace .onion with .onion two or .onion.senior. Any other domain made available by volunteers. Twitter web example. Oh, so this does work. Okay, perfect. Tour to web only protects publishers, not readers. As a reader, installing Tor will give you much greater. Yeah. Site references. Problem loading page. Awesome. Okay. So what are what are the other ones? Onion dot city. Onion dot direct. Okay. Wow. Okay, so this isn't working. Um, tour web. I really don't want to download a tour browser. This is what I want. Tour is a software. Tour to web is a project to learn it uses access to onion servers without using Tor browser. Yes, this is what I want. Tor to web. Below a set of useful resources: Tor onion services, indexes, search engines, and applications available on the internet. Okay. Well, this worked at one point. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, oh, no, no. Now I'm just going to get all this stuff, all the dark web stuff. 11 best sites to safely visit on the dark web. What is the dark web? Don't want the dark web. I want onion browser Chrome. There we go. Tor browser. And I really don't. I mean, I guess I could create a VM and do it in the VM, but I don't want to do that either. Maybe it's just the tour site. Okay, let me give um, tour project onion address. Actually, let's do Facebook onion address. Uh, Facebook onion address located at. Today, Facebook's launching. What the heck is going on? Copy link. Oh, that's not. That's not it. Okay. Um. For project address. Uh, 
Let's find an onion address. I just need an example onion address. Facebook address located at this formerly is a site that allows access. Okay. Let's try this. Dot onion dot to. Let's see if this works. I don't think it's going to. So something's wrong with the portal web. Other great sites have similar onion dot web to tour gateway proxy. So onion dot pet. What? No, I just want. Onion dot what? There we go. Okay. Onion acts as a proxy, also known as blah, blah, blah. Onion dot pet. Okay, awesome. Let's try let's try your example. Oh, that did work. Awesome. Okay. So onion dot pet. Maybe the address is wrong. Yeah, see, so this is this is what makes me nervous. Onion guide. Yeah, this is done. All right, so maybe these just don't work very well. Onion top. Yeah, Tour to Web was the one. Okay, let's try this one. It could just be slow because tour is slow. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Operation timed out, yeah. Find more websites on Onion Search Engine. Okay, if I just do that. Okay, so this worked. 
Maybe that's what I try to do first. Just connect to a regular website. <clears throat> not a done not a dot onion site. Okay. Weird. Alright, I'm gonna stop going to sketchy websites. Alright, <clears throat> um, yeah, I'll just get into... Let's see, it's gonna be tour, HCB clan, dot go. Um, package tour, HCB client. Alright, so what am I gonna do? Uh, tour library. So the example that they use is this. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. I don't need all this. So what I really need, I need tour.start. Yeah, okay. So let me go and get these. Terminal, new terminal. Go get. No. Go mod in it. And then ba -ba -ba, let's get the other one. Perfect. Okay, now, um, I don't necessarily need it to be a main function, but I guess let's just do main first. Alright, so let me start, start, start there. Let's start with that. There it goes. Alright, tour. Why don't you know what tour is? Um, go mod. Go tour. Why don't you know what these are? Let's see. There we go. Alright, format.println. Saving tour. Oh, this is going to take forever. Yeah. Oh, no. It's trying to build it. It's trying to build it. This is going to take forever. So the... um, I shouldn't have done this in VS Code. Yeah, I can't. Okay, this can't be done in VS Code. Okay. Um, there goes. VS Code is going to try and, uh, every time I save, it's going to try and, and build it. And this is not... Oh, no, Vim is going to try to do it, too. <laughs> because I have all my Go tools running. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and do this. Let's see, go build dash v dash x. Uh, what is the dash x?
Scoville dash X. Print the commands. Cool. I just want to make sure it's not. Wow. So it has to build the entire tour libraries. That's going to take a while. So I guess we're just going to hang out. <clears throat> Hoping I only have to do this once. I figure once I build the library once, it'll be that'll be it. All right, maybe I'll mess around with my settings. Oh, yeah, I am gonna do that. Okay. Oh, whoops, wrong one. Okay, cool. Um, let me... So, I think... I mean... I, I turned my microphone all the way up. And, I mean, I, maybe this is okay. Yeah, I, I'll just leave it here. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So, oh, hey, there we go. It built. That's cool. I don't know what it's going to do, but RM go tour. I don't need that. Um, okay, so now if I do something like this, yeah. Okay. Now I don't need that. Now I can go back into Visual Studio Code. And this should all be good. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Um, so starting registering, please wait a bit. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit. Process creator. Debug writer. OS standard error. Fail to start tour, defer t dot close or turn. All right, so in the example, uh, where was it? Right here. In the example, they start, wait a few minutes, context, wait at most a few minutes to publish the service. Create an onion service listen on any port, but show as 80. Yeah, see, I don't want to do this. So once you have, once I have the tour instance, I don't want to start a tour server. What I want to do is create a tour client and that should be possible here. I want the dialer. Okay, so I can create a dialer. I think there would be like a new dialer. Dialer creates a new dialer for the given configuration. Context can be nil. If cough is nil, default is used. Okay, so, and I want... Hoxie just suggests if empty it is looked up. Proxy network, proxy forward, proxy dialer. See, this is the problem. Like, I don't want to use this proxy stuff. Dialer, proxy dialer. I want to... Tour.start. So I have this instance. T. Wait at most a few minutes to publish the service. 
See mobile. The advantage of Go starts to show when building to more exotic platforms. Uh, simple Seago files. It doesn't require custom build steps. Let's see. Yeah, run starts up an embedded tour process. It starts a hidden onion service on a new Go routine and returns the onion address for cheating here and not caring about actually cleaning up after ourselves. Yeah. Android archive. Yes. That's fine. But I want, I don't want this. Oh, t.listen. I want, okay. So let's go back into this. So I have a tour instance, t.dialer. Dialer creates a new dialer for the Kevin configuration. Okay, skip enable network. If enable network, if right, what does this do? Proxy auth. Proxy auth is the auth for the proxy. Since Tor Sox5 proxy is unauthenticated, this is really needed. Okay, I don't have to worry about that. Skip enable network. If true, we'll skip the enable network step in dialer. Skip the enable network step in dialer. I don't know what enable network is. T dot enable network. I guess that's it. Only enable if disable network is one. Get com else disable. Control that sec. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. If not, wait. Return. Wait for progress to 100. Event. Don't wait. I don't know what all this is. Okay. So I'm just going to try. So there's t.listen, t.dialer. t.listen. There has to be. Local port t dot dialer. The proxy, that's what gets me because there isn't a proxy running. All right. I'm just gonna try it. So <clears throat> the four okay. So now we have dialer error is equal to t dot dialer nil nil. If error does not equal nil, let's log dot panic. Sure. Let's see, error, blah, 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 what I want to say. Hey, Internet Bird, how's it going? Error, creating dialer. All right, so we have dialer. Oh, you know what I just realized? I need this font to be better here. I don't want to zoom in. Um, what I want. I think it's in preferences. Yeah, here we go. Font size. Let's see what. 25. Is that. Is that pretty good? Or do I need to go to 30? What is the equivalent of this? Uh, might be a little bigger. <clears throat> I 
That's pretty big. Yeah, no, my days, days just got started, so it's going it's going well so far. Um, so this is a library I'm building. Uh, I guess not for a hobby project. It's for a for a, another project that I'm working on. Um, I need a um, I need a tour client library to build a mobile app that can connect to a tour service. Um, so yeah, so I need this library for it. Assuming I can get it working. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it working. The other thing I didn't think about was I don't have to build it in Go. So I could create what's the um, there is I can find it. There is a Let's see if I can find. Quiet, that's what I want. Quiet. Although I don't, yeah, try quiet. Here we go. They've built this. They've built a Okay, well. Yeah, I mean anyone anyone can create a tour service. I mean there are I mean the tour project explains how the tour project shows how to um wherever it is like you just have to download the the tour um i mean you can technically you can technically um use whatever web server you want and then there's a tour tour um tour proxy that kind of proxies all the the tour requests but yeah anybody can build one of these um okay Try quiet, yes. Oh, there it goes. Okay, Twitter's just being slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, anybody can add it. So there's a, yeah, there's a, um, I mean, the, the, there's a protocol for, um, and, and most of these services will do it for you um, for adding adding a service to the Tor network and making it available. Um, yep, anybody can do that. Um, okay, so over tour, how it works, I just want the code. Quiet syncs directly between two sides over tour. <clears throat> no server required. Um, no, where's the code? Surely they. I guess I don't actually know if this is open source. Um, oh, hey, it is. Awesome. Okay. Quiet. Uh, bah, 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 bah. third party tour. Uh, okay. Android app. Source main ZBay mobile group. What is that? Back in notification. Somewhere in here is the library. So we make a request, it randomly selects nodes on the network and routes your request between those nodes. Um, yeah, something like that. Um, I don't know if it's a random selection or the client. I think the client has some choice in the matter. Like the client can choose. Uh, the path it wants to take, um, but yeah, it um, like it's usually I think three. It picks three nodes in the network, and then all the information gets forwarded along. Yeah. 
hell do they do? Okay, where's Tor? Tor encrypts all data, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna know what library you're using to do this. Grant Tor binary, so this isn't it. Mobile. Android iOS. <clears throat> Lib node. No, it's not going to be that. It'll be in here. CPP. Own native lib. What is this? I need to know what ZBay Mobile is. Somehow that became Batmobile. Oh, it's on here. Okay. ZBay Mobile. There's not a README or anything. Huh. need that why isn't there's like no information about this oh you know what the other thing I haven't done I usually do 150 all right now it should be easier to see um ba -ba -ba, Android app Source main okay tour module okay starting tour from iOS native module improvement move hidden service management to waggle what is a waggle okay tour service tour module run tour command tour binary tour custom I mean, so there's a way to do this. Oh, they're using React Native. No kidding. Okay, then I should be able to. Okay. Um, where is app source main? Oh. No, it's not going to be in there. CPP assets. I don't know what KT is. Yeah, I may have KT file. Is it Kotlin? Yeah. Yeah, I have it. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, All right, I guess I'm just gonna go back to what I was doing before, um, which is trying to get this to work. So I have a dialer. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see if this works. Uh, going, it should be transport. Index, let's see, client. Transport, perfect. Transport. I don't want that. I want 
a new custom. Okay. Delay HTTP transfer dialer. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Uh, dial default dialer. Cool. That's what I want. All right, TR transport dialer is going to be dialer. Sure. Client transport, perfect. Return client. Nope, now I have a client. All right. Client dot, what is it? Why isn't this one? Client dot, where's client? No, client dot get. Cool. Client dot get. Um, let's just try that. Response pair if there is only one mil. Oh, God, panic. Error. Get. Oh, I should probably. Oh, no, log panic. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, the first for response dot body dot close. And now what I want, I need to copy the response data. Actually, let's just do this. Dot print lens status. Response dot status. Okay. Oh, yeah. no, that's not gonna work either. Uh, how big is this binary? Wow. Okay, so it is twenty one megabytes. That's huge. Huh. I didn't know I was getting all this. Starting and registering onion server. Oh, well, that's not true. Creating temp directory data. Okay. Starting tour with args. Connecting to control port. Right line auth methods. Version auth challenge. Authenticate, I have no idea what any of this means. Um, set events, stuck at 10% directory, no route to host, no route. One connections have failed, one connections dialed in state, handshaking with TSSL state, error and handshaking. Read line, 60 steps, line warn bootstrap, tag. Finishing handshake with directory service, ready, no route to host. Host address. Okay. Unable to signal halt, broken pipe, error creating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so a lot just happened. And I didn't know all that was going to happen. Um, yeah, so this is going to be the problem that I'm going to spend today working on is seeing if I can get this to work. Um, I 
No route to host. You never saw a download tour. I'm unable to connect. Wrong port. I mean, I think the issue is that I don't have. Socks five proxy running. All right, um, let's do Android or client library. Oh, Tor Android. This is a native Android Tor service built on the Tor shared library built for Android. This included libtor binaries can also be used directly as a Tor daemon binaries are available on Maven Central. Privacy on the net by hiding connections. Tor frequently asked questions, how to build. That will run either libvirt or VirtualBox. Properly build an Android package of or bot from source. Of Tor OpenSSL web event JTor. Please install the following prerequisites. Ant, oh no. No, oh, I should have all this stuff. You'll need to run the Android command in the SDK. Be sure you have all of get some modules to begin building. Built all some modules. Now build the Android app. This will produce an unsigned Tor package APK. Assign the APK, the basics on signing. Okay. Um. Yeah, so this is... Guardian project. Tour. Our tour fork to maintain Android and iOS fixes used in Orbit and Tor Android. Orbit. Tor on Android also available. Oh, Tor on Android. Orbot. Orbot VPN app for iOS. Okay, iOS or client library. Onion browser. See what I what I'm using this for. What I want to use Tor for. I may be just overcomplicating it. There might be a better. There might be a better way of doing this. So what I want to be able to do is I want a tour client, but I don't want it to be I 
I don't want it to be that difficult. Like, I don't want this to be... It needs to be more seamless than this. Like, if it takes a long time... Here, let's... I'm just gonna... Let's do this. Um... Uh, onion browser iOS. Cool. Let's watch this. Got it. Whatever. Okay. So I just want to see what it looks like. Sometimes you need a bridge to get to tour. <clears throat> yeah. All right, this is what I want. Start browsing. Yeah, what? This is not... We're connect Oh, here it is. Okay, so sometimes... Yeah, this is okay. This is terrible. Um, connect to tour, configure bridges. Your country are using a connection that sensors tour. You might need to use bridges. Okay, activists use tour to freely express connected. Yeah, see, that was fast. Security level applied to every website you visit. It may affect their performance. Security levels can be modified per site. Okay, start browsing. Yeah. Okay, so the other way I could do this, what's a bridge? I want to know what are bridges. Oh, hey, look at that. What are bridges? Bridges are tour relays that help you circumvent. Okay, that doesn't tell me what they do. <clears throat> bridge relays are tour relays that are not listed in public tour directory. A bridge is just a normal relay with a slightly different configuration. Ops proxy bridges address this by adding another layer of obfuscation setting up bridge requires an additional software package Okay, tour mobile. Hey look at that Who is the guardian project? How do I run? There's currently no supported method for running tour browser on older Windows phones Oh, no, what is guardian project? Or bot another private site on Android more information can be found What happened or Fox is tour browser available? I run to a browser on iOS. We recommend an iOS called Onion Browser, which is open source. One who works closely with, however, Apple requires browsers on iOS to use something called WebKit, which prevents Onion Browser from having the same privacy connections as Tor Browser. Or only one. While both Tor Browser or Android and Orbit are great, they serve different purposes. Like the desktop on your mobile device.
So, uh, hey, hello. um, yeah, well, I, I mean, I got it to a state where it was working. The, so, I mean, I, the simple answer is I got the basic functionality done. Um, and I was done working on it. Um, I don't know how many streams it was 72 something streams, 70 something streams. So I had to put it down for a little bit. Um, I do want to, do a little bit more with it but yeah i mean for the most part i got it to the point where i could uh record record workouts so that was cool um so now i'm working on other stuff Ow. <clears throat> so the other thing i could do is i could create my own tour gateway I could create my own tour gateway and I mean, I would still need a tour client, but I mean that I would just set that up with the proxy. Um, So that the, I think that's what it's going to be because I don't want, I don't want, so, so what I'm trying to do is I want the mobile apps to be able to connect to tour services for, to get basically use tour like a DNS service. So a site's running, it'll have a, its own tour service running, um, and if you want to connect to it, you, you connect to the tour service first, get its DNS information, and then connect to the site. So I don't need, the clients don't technically need to connect to the tour services directly. They can connect to a gateway, which then proxies the tour. Okay. I'm going to try that. Um, the other issue is that I don't want to do this on my main computer. I want to do this. Let's see. Four socks, five proxy, big two. Install tour proxy. Tour is free software. How to install tour and test your network connection through tour. Tour provides to your Linux system as a root. Let's see. Okay, tour dash version. All right. By default, tour runs on port 9050. You can confirm this. That tour is up and running and running correctly by using the ss command sudo apt install tour first we install tour in your system yeah wget ipify echo tour network first check what your current ip address is well, i'm not going to do that then we'll run the same command but preface it with tour socks tour socks did we get run through our tour client instead? Tour mode. Every command will be tourified for the shell. That's cool. Oh, Rust. Um, probably not anytime soon. Um, right now, I am working on mobile apps and so i'm learning react native and um like react native and then how to build go libraries for uh mobile apps so like go mobile tooling 
and React Native. That's that's kind of what I'm doing now. Um, Rust is still in the back of my mind. I would like to learn Rust, but I don't have I don't have a use case for it yet. Um, so it's it's still on hold. Oh, I could. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Oh, I don't really want to install. Okay, I'm going to try this. We'll see how it goes. I would much rather... Hmm. I wonder if I could... All right, I'm going to do this. One second. All right. Let's see. Cool. So I have that tour is running. All right. I'm going to do this off screen because I don't want to expose my IP address. All right. Okay. This is taking a long time. I mean, it has to go through the tour system. This is taking a long time. Hmm. Then we'll run it tour socks this way. The command is run through our tour client instead. Oh, you know what? This should work now. The my um. I should be able to go back to this now start let's see I just need an example oh this is good look this is what I want no 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 yes t dot listen I don't want this I want t dot dial <clears throat> Tour dot start process creator embedded new creator. Okay, if in main it can simply be run with go run. Of course, this uses a separate tour process to embed tour statically in the binary. Follow the embedded package actually would require building tour statically. Then with embedded new creator, this defaults to tour. It can be used in non Windows environments. Test go test. Add tour with like details. Yeah, I think. Where's the dialer? Error, unable to resolve status reply four in SOX5 resolve at SOX5.c. Error tour SOX, unable to resolve. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, what is this? Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. Tour client TCP connection over tour and go link. Here we go. 
dialer proxy dot sox five Jesus dialer you must you just call dialer dot dial instead of net dot dial. It's probably to choose use the wrapper by Chad Retz. That's the bind. Toward yeah, this is wrong. Okay. Um Oh, I should SS nationality. Ninety fifty. Yes, it is working. Yeah, I don't know why this isn't working. Okay, so we're going to go back to this. The tour node acts as a SOX5 proxy on port 9050. Go support lives in proxies. Okay. Let's go back to our code. All right, I don't need all of this. Okay, I'm going to have to... That's not going to work. There we go. Right, where I just copied this stuff in here. This can go away. This can go away. There it goes. All right. Proxy, Sox5, TCP, nil nil, log log, dialer dot dial, client, Facebook, Eric's can get, status, perfect. Okay. Unsupported protocol scheme. Okay. Dialer dot dial. No, I don't want that. I wonder. Did that work? Unsupported protocol scheme. Eric's can get Facebook.com unsupported protocol scheme. All right. This is making a connection dialer dot dial TCP stack overflow. <coughs> Con. 
but that's not what I want. Let's see. Let's see if I can do that. Going. Con state. Quest response server. See dialer. Net dial. Get. Yeah, see, I don't want to do this though. I have the connection. I can I just pass that to. Can I just pass that to All right, we're going to do it this way. Um Error reading buffer. All right, I think that's fine. Let's see if this works. Well, it's taking a long time, so that's a good sign. What are my problems? Stuff. Anything else? Okay. I don't think it should be taking this long. Export HTTP file. If tour in tour use cases it should look like this when running tour on localhost. Yes. To use a proxy, here's an example in Golang. Okay. The other thing I could try to do is 
not do this. Actually, I need to... Yeah. All right, process creator debug start. Here a bunch of this stuff. Tour dot start nil nil. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna do it the simple way. Tour dot start nil nil. Fail to start t dot. Right. t dot dialer. Yes, it'll look it up. Client, client. Oh. Dialer, dial, 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 client. Okay. So now it's going to use the proxy that should exist on my computer. Yeah. Process creator. Please wait a bit. Proxy address is the address for the socks if empty it is looked up. Proxy network is the network for socks five. Proxy if proxy address is empty, this value is ignored and remember what is looked up. If it's empty and proxy address is not empty, it defaults to TCP. Okay. Don't need that, don't need that. Forward. Forward is dialer to forward to. If dial if nil, just use normal net dialer. Okay. Starting oh. That's not what's happening though. I don't think it should take this long. Let's see. <clears throat> Going to work client. I guess it doesn't even have to be in tour. It doesn't have to be in go. All right. Maybe I will learn Rust. Rust tour client. Why not? Let's try it this way. Why Artie? We why we write tour in Rust? Because despite its maturity, the tour is showing its age. Artie is released. Cool. Artie. Implementation of tour in Rust. So far it's not very com it's a not very complete client, but watch this space. All right, man, I'm so, I don't know. Artie is a project to produce an embeddable production quality implementation of the Tor and, and the Rust programming language. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> API level 
style developer documentation. Cool. The RD client create aims to provide a safe, easy to use API route that want to use the Tor network to minimize the traffic. This code is part of RD. Um, shape warning. Also, the API patches are not all yet completely stable. We'll try not to break things. Tor client create connecting to Tor. Calling Tor client create establish connection to the Tor network. Pulling a necessary state about. Yeah, this is not going to work. Might wish to create a Tor client immediately without waiting for it to bootstrap or have it to use in a way this can be done by using using the client. A client can then be used to make connections over Tor with Client Connect, which accepts anything implementing intro Tor into Tor addresses. TCP stream type async read. Initiate a connection, Tor Client Connect. Okay. See, I want to see this for Go. I mean, I'll do it in Rust if I have to, but write out an HTTP request. I'd rather see this in Go. Going tour client. I mean, I could probably get, I can, I have to be able to get it working in Go. If, if I, if I'm running the socks proxy, how do you go HTTP behind a proxy or tour? Export proxy IP proxy port proxy URL parse HTTP client transport HTTP transport proxy proxy or robust HTTP check this out Tor proxy install Tor browser or use another browser like Brave that comes with Tor browsing as an option. Oh, no kidding. It comes with Tor browsing. As, oh, new private window with Tor. Disconnected. Tor is connecting. I didn't even know I had this. Okay. Wow. Well, that's awesome. Okay. Install a proxy service on your... I think I've done that. Run Tor inside... Oh. You can use Tor in a few ways. I guess I could do it in a Docker. That would probably be a lot easier. Install Tor, brew install, sudo port install Tor. Yep. Configure application. Tor connection failed. Okay. What does it say to do? Open Brave settings, disable private window with Tor. Tor, private window, Tor Hydro Petition site visit. Disable. Okay. Oh. Brave browser. No, I just want to know how, why is this not working? All right, to use Soxify directly, for instance. You can point your application directly at Tor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. From now on, find that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Okay. URL proxy URL post Sox five HTTP for transport. For more of this, check this out. Proxy Sox five parse path. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Okay. Let's try this.
proxy URL parse HP dot default transport client transport now. Is that something still running? Nope. I don't need that anymore. Error. Unsupported protocol scheme. Let's try that now. See, I would, I just want to tour version. Tour is running on Linux. Tor compiled. Okay. So I have Tor running, but it's not, it's really not working well. Like if Brave isn't even going to work, Tor connection failed. Okay. Brave Tor connection failed. Next time it happens for you, so the browser can please share your tour.log file and if possible, console log. Tor is located okay. Linux config, brave tour data log. Okay. Um, dot config, brave. There is no brave. That works. Oh. I wonder if Tor is blocked on my firewall. I have my home network locked down pretty well. I wonder if Tor is blocked on it. That would be interesting to figure out. Um, which I'm not going to be able to figure out right now. Yeah, I bet. Hmm. No, oh, it, it can't be. It can't be. It's defined. Is an incomplete extension of the Sox 4.
Alright. All right, I'm going to close install the Tor browser. Establish a new connection. I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet that it's being blocked. Bet that's why. I wonder if I should uninstall Tor from the command line. All right. I'm going to, one second, middle monitor. All right. Let's see if, if my network is blocking this connection. Yeah, this is not, this isn't going to work. Okay. Um, I bet you my firewall is blocking it. Um, bu 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 um, firewall security. Yes. Haha, <laughs> that's it. My, uh, my home firewall blocks tour traffic. That is, that is awesome. Okay. That's, that's just awesome. Yeah, now it's working. Ha 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 ha. Okay. This is this is this is wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful. <clears throat> now it's all the way right here. It was back here before. Well, good for me. Good for me for for blocking tour traffic on my firewall. Isn't that wonderful? Now I can go back to all the other things that I was doing, like all the ghost stuff I was doing and seeing if they'll actually work now, now that I've unblocked. I mean, now it shouldn't take this long, though. Let's see if this works. Okay, something now, something still, hmm. Okay, I don't think it's my firewall anymore. Unless there's some other setting. Hold on, let me see. Let's see if there's another setting that I have to disable.
Ha! No kidding. Alright. I, I guess it's up and running now? Um... Well, first of all, I'm just going to go to facebook.com. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Now, this should work. No, 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 no. Whoops. Maybe that's what it was. There it goes. I had that extra character, so it assumed I was searching. Sorry, now I'm back. Question is, how long is this going to take? So this works. I mean, this has got to be the tour site. Um, uh, let's see. What's a... Uh, journalist... New York Times, onion address. Updated during the fall, rebuild its existing onion service. Added the onions poor for four service. A new V three onion address. As with our previous onion service, visitors will not be able to create Times accounts or login via the feed. The current address. Thank you. Copy link. Oh, it's working. No kidding, it's working. So now this should work on Brave. Oh, Tor connected successfully. Look at that. Yes. Okay, so that was the problem. My firewall was blocking Tor connections. Sweet. I mean, this still takes forever, but whatever. All right, now let's see. Does this work? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. That works now. It all works. It's all working. This site can't be reached. Ugh. Come on, New York Times. Get your stuff together. Facebook.onion is working. Okay. I don't like how long this is taking, though. Need a faster.onion. Okay, now the next question is. Will this work? Haha, -ha, look at that. Look at that. Okay, now I want to do it the way I was doing it before. Client transport gets yes. Okay, this works. All right, now I should be able to get the dot onion address. Um, is this not, no, hmm, how do I, okay, 
I need a hotkey for switching between VS Code hotkey switch between internal editor. How to switch internal VS? Just doing Control J. Press control to focus cursor on terminal, show for coding section. Okay. Uh, control J. Oh, hey, control K. Oh, but now what's going to be in here? No, that's not going to work. New terminal. Okay, I don't know. Oh, okay. What? This is just working. Now this should take a long time, but I should still get All right. Did Oh, hey, the New York Times finally showed up. Oh, hey, it did. It did. Look at that. Okay. So I got it. I got it. So it works. The onion dot, the dot onion works. It just takes forever. Um, hmm. Let's see. Onion service slow connection. I use Tor and Tor browser a lot every day, and literally Tor network became extremely slow for me. Absolutely, yes, you are. <laughs> this is hilarious. That's hilarious. It should not be this slow, though. Total capacity to turn insufficient. Relative to unmet privacy demand. Uh, error executing get socks, Facebook, unknown error, TTL expired. Oh, TTL expired, yeah. Takes a long time. Um,.
so dot onion service so what's i mean this is easy enough like going over tour seems fast enough but connecting to a dot onion service is slow yeah I guess I'm coming out of Germany. Um, hmm. okay. Oh no, Golang transport T two. Yeah, how do I change this? Proxy, dial, dial funk, dial TLS connect. Right. Let's see how long it takes to get This is what I'm working on. I'm running I'm doing that over Tor Socks. Oh well. Okay, that was not bad. That was actually pretty quick. Okay. I don't need all that stuff. Okay. Okay, so tour socks was actually pretty quick. So I wonder, huh? Why is this so slow then? Oh, oh okay. So now I'm going to do what I want it. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to go back to where was it? Something. Go back to just using the proxy. Here we go. Yeah. All right, so this works if it's not an onion service. If it's just a regular service, it works. Um,
Yeah, this is what I want. URL part. All right. Client proxy. All right. Um. All oh, this can go away. All right, let's try this one first, just to see if it'll work. Yes, okay, so that works. Now let's see if this works. That's gonna take a little longer. But I don't want it to take too long. Again, I don't know why connecting to the dot onion. Oh, maybe I need to see the New York Times. No. Maybe it'll be faster. This is going to time out. Oh, no, I got it. Status 200. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, this is working. This is working. Okay, so the New York Times is faster just because probably the site's faster um, or whatever they're doing is faster. I don't know why New York Times is faster than Facebook, but it is. I've got it. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know why this is. Okay, so now it's working. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, so now what I'm going to change is instead of making a... Instead of creating... Instead of creating a tour client... Oh, well now, no, I don't want to. Instead of making a tour client for, for mobile, which probably I will do at some point, I'm just going to create a tour gateway so that mobile devices can query the gateway and the gateway will connect we'll do the we'll do the tour connection itself so yeah i think that's what i'm going to do um do i want to get started on that right now Although now I, now I really want to try. I really, really want to try the the other way if I could get it to work. Now that I know that the issue was, I know that the issue was. that my internet that my firewall is blocking tour tour traffic
I wonder if I could get the other thing to work and then I could connect. No, but that's just going to be, I don't, I don't want the, I don't want the mobile. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try, let's do try quiet. Quiet.org. Okay. How it works. Quiet syncs necessarily between a team's devices over Tor with no server required. Each group of people <clears throat> has their own insular network so that data from one community never touches the devices of quiet users in other communities, not even in encrypted form. Orbit DB. <clears throat> New messages, syncs latest messages. Yes, invites. Access and usernames are granted by a computer owner. Getting started. Team chat, end to end encryption. Organize, get desktop, desktop maps. No email or phone number required. Send and receive files of unlimited size. Get started hacking on quiet. Follow the instructions for quiet desktop or quiet. If you're new to the project, start with quiet as it's more stable and vastly easier to start hacking on. I just want to know what. Federation is a group of green enterprise green pound standard. It's okay. I want to see what it looks like. No, they don't have any YouTube videos. Share a common node backend and React state manager with Tor binaries for each platform and architecture. You like share React Native for their respective front ends. Okay, so it does have the Tor binaries. Interesting. I just want to know how fast it is. Is there a screen pressure? No, quite has not been audited. It's quite federated. Do I need to observe? No, we don't believe in forcing users to choose between running their own server interests and someone else's, so we made quite fully peer to peer. Quite uses Tor network. <clears throat> it's guard nodes and relay nodes. They're not in the Quite also uses GitHub. To deliver update versions quite and that quite is fully peer to peer. If I ever use IP addresses to connect to peers, no, only Tor onion addresses. Mirrors of quiet community use lib P2P IPFs to connect to each other over Tor and inside network for specific community. Interesting. What is this? Opens new one as well. P2P. All right. It's quite ever connected to a global IPFS. No, each community creates its own totally isolated IPFS network with members connecting over Tor. Why doesn't Quiet let me join multiple communities? We just haven't implemented that yet. It will soon. Do Quiet users have a single Quiet account? No, you should create a separate account for each community. What is a member of Quiet? Quiet a set of key pairs and sign certificate. Okay, so if not done carefully, less private. Tour is essential. 
IP addresses can reveal a lot. If you are a user of a messaging app, would not expect to. It's not something like Tor, a centralized messaging app would be less private and worse than a centralized competitor. Tor also makes NAT traversal of computer screens. Yeah, anyone connected to the tornet can receive incoming connections to the onion address. Will quite still work? No. Isn't tour slow? We're still collecting data on quiet scaling properties, but for small communities, at least messaging and quiet feels snappy. Yeah, this is what I'm wondering. Does Quiet support Tor censorship circumvention features? Does Quiet have direct messages? No, Quiet uses a CRDT called Orbit. CRDT, conflict-free replicated data type. That's cool. Called OrbitDB. Peer-to-peer -peer database for the central web. Use IPFS as its data storage in IPFS. See, I need to understand this more. Peer-to-peer -peer hypermedia protocol designed to preserve and grow humanities. How it works. File split in smaller chunks, given a unique fingerprint. When the nodes look up your file, they ask if your nodes join the content. Yeah, so this is fine, okay. Like a 30 conversation. Users can prove that a reply was sent after the message or replies to the app can provide some guarantees. It's quiet work on mobile. What? We have a we have built a proof of concept React Native app for Android and plan to launch mobile apps this year. Okay. Don't iOS push notifications require a central server? For now, yes. Yes, this is unfortunate. The community owner sends an invite code. She's sending him a tour onion that points to an onboarding API she's running. Yeah, see, okay, so they're running an onion service on their phones or, the, or their computers. Um, Okay. In response to her request, Alex returns her public key, assigns her and her real onion address, which points to the actual closed network. Right. Points to an onboarding API she's running, yes. And she uses his username, Bob. Bob pastes it in. She's, Bob sends Alice a certificate signing request to join the community. In response to the request, Alice returns her public key, assigns certificate, and her real onion address, yes. Which points to the actual closed network. Yeah, this is pretty good. Bob will use the certificate to prove other members that his username is in fact Bob and that he's authorized. Yeah, I like this. This is a good protocol. Why is joining community so slow? First of all, in current versions, the community owner must be online for you to join it because the invite code is just a tour on your address that connects to the community owner's device. Future versions of Quiet will be more flexible in this regard, but for now, this is how it works. Tour, we're connecting to an address is taking much longer than it should. Oh, okay. Long circuit build times when connecting to onion services. This is why it's slow. Known bug, okay. This bug is part of the problem. Tor will probably not fix this until after the transition to Tor's Rust implementation already is complete, so it could be a while. We have a closed network of users, all of whom are members of some team. We know each other's onions addresses and policies. Who can all connect to each other? Okay. Connecting to onion address is taking much longer than it should. Long circuit build times when connecting to onion services. Lots more logs. Issue we're seeing, this is eight months ago. 
This is open. Oh, hey, one day ago. Huh. Oh, this is the guy who does the, uh, this is funny. Uh, this is the guy who does the, he does the quiet thing. Well, it's good to know that it's not me. Okay. This I like. Okay, what time is it? 2.30, um, or 2.30, 10.30, um, let me stop here for the morning, um, so, so I figured out how to, okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to build a tour gateway. I don't like... I don't know. I, I mean, that's the way to do it, to keep... so that the mobile clients can connect. Um... So mobile clients can can do the the tour the queries over tour the requests over tour that I want to get done. Um, but I also don't like the idea of it degrades the privacy. It degrades the privacy. Like I'd rather the clients be able to connect to tour directly, but maybe that's just maybe that's a future feature. Yeah, I think that's going to be a, a future feature. Okay, that's it for the morning. Um, I'm going to get off. I'll be back on this afternoon um, around sometime between 2 and 3, so around 2.30 or something. I might get on a little earlier, but plan right now will be around 2.30. Um and I will start working on the tour gateway. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks, uh, Internet Bird and and Milo for uh, for watching for a little bit. And I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back on this afternoon. So see you then. Oh, I guess I should. I'm, I'm out of practice with this. Uh, socials are Tyler Travesty, Twitch, Twitter, GitHub, and YouTube. Tyler Travesty is, yeah, on YouTube. So YouTube now has... Um, like, username. They now have these username things. So you can go to the... YouTube channel usernames. How do they work? Yeah. 
Yeah, handles. That's what it, YouTube handles. That's what it's called. So, oh yeah, okay, perfect. So, slash at. Yeah, okay. So, Tyler Travesty on Twitch, Twitter, GitHub. Twitch, Twitter, GitHub, YouTube. So if you go to my channel on YouTube, I upload all of my streams. So if you can't catch them live, you can always watch them later. Um, yeah, we'll see where this goes. Uh, this is a new project. I don't think I I don't think I'm going to be on this tour gateway for very long. Um, I mean, the original idea was to create a tour client for mobile app. If I if I'm going to do a gateway, it's going to make it a little bit more complicated. Um, and I don't. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I I don't know if I'm gonna keep working on this right now. It's not super critical for what I want, um, but maybe maybe I'll work on it this afternoon. I might work on it this afternoon. Let's yeah, I'll plan to work on it this afternoon and see how far I get. Um, and if it can do what I want to do, then I oh, don't know. But if I yeah, I'll, I'll see how it goes. Um, but anyway, that's, um, yeah, that's it for this morning. Thanks for watching. I will uh, see you later this afternoon.